Alright. I have not seen this. I've seen many people do tarot and runes, but I have not seen yogam. Yogam are the trees. They were from ancient Celtic times. And what the yogam is usually written on for divination purposes are little pieces of the tree. Now, this would be the first one. This is birch. And that little V at the bottom signifies the end of the line. This one is birch. It shows growth new beginnings those are the base just some of the basics I'm not gonna read through them all if you'd like me to go through them all I will because as much as I'm working on learning them I'm more than interested to hear how other people work with them and on that note we're gonna do a quick reading for me and I do a three, past, present, future. So let's see what we get for the past, present, and the future. <laughs> well, isn't that ironic? Okay. For the past. For anybody who says I've got to look it up because I don't know them, as I said, I am learning. So, for the past, we have oak. It comes with being very old and weathering storms. And unfortunately, I am not a spring chicken. So that, that does. I've weathered a few storms. But we all weather them every day. For the present, we have. Alder. I'm not remaking this. That symbolizes more as a protector. And, uh, I'm actually currently watching my nephew at the moment, so at the moment I am a protector. Very little up to the moment, but my family will also tell you that um, I try to take care of them as much as possible, even to my own detriment. But, so what do we have for the first, for the future, for the future, I redrew Birch. So, as I said, indicates new beginnings. Well, it's the future, so that tells me there may be some change coming, which I've also seen the signs for other places in my life and other aspects. So, and I did just officially start a new position, and it works, so... Those all kind of work. I'm working on learning more. Um, you think I read them wrong? I'm more than interested to hear your interpretation. But, uh, thanks. <laughs>